Hi guys, today I'm going to be showing you how you can change any image of yourself or a celebrity into a cartoon using Photoshop CS5. So I just went onto the internet and typed in Lewis Hamilton and I turned him into a cartoon. So that's what the original picture was like and here's the picture after I did the cartoon. So that looks pretty good with the glow in his eyes and it just overall looks really good right so today I'm going to be showing you how to do this on Photoshop so the first thing that we need to do is import the photograph into Photoshop and you can do this by going to file open and then just clicking on the image you want to open so first we need to make sure that the foreground color is set to black and the background color is set to white and then we're going to go up to filter sketch and then stamp and here it just shows you what it will look like but obviously it won't look like that because we're going to add some finishing touches to it because it would look not very good if you just saved it as that uh, but you can drag up the light and dark balance to just suit your picture and get what you want so I'm just gonna have it at 3 and the smoothness at 4 and then hit OK but as you see now there's like dots in the hair and unwanted things around his face and around the sides of the image so what you want to do to get rid of these is go into the paintbrush tool and make sure it's not got a faded out edge around it make sure it's a hard round edge and then just click on one like this and I would set the size at about 55 and make sure the foreground colour is set to white now ok so we're just going to get rid of this So now I'm just going to do the hair, so set the foreground colour to black and lower the paintbrush size and then just paint in the black. So once you've got rid of all the unwanted bits on the image, we just need to shape the eyebrows a bit more. Okay, so go into the paintbrush tool and select the right paintbrush you want to use. So I'm just going to use one of these again, but get the right size. Okay, still a bit too big have the size at about 12, 13 
And now we're just gonna fix them. Okay, that eyebrow is okay. Let's go on to the next one. So that's the eyebrow sorted out, but what we need to do now is add colour to the image. So to do this, we need to make a new layer and just go into the eye drop tool and get the colour from the actual image. But I can't do that, but I've got an old um, template that I made, so I'm just going to get the colour off this one. Okay. and then we're just going to paint it on where we want it try not to go outside the edges of the face though but it doesn't matter if you do So once you've done that, we need to go over here and click this button and then go up to multiply. And what this does is it puts it behind the um, black outline. Uh, now what we need to do is go into the rubber and just rub out the areas of the eye that should normally be white. Just like so. And do the same for the lips, just rub out the bits that would normally be coloured. Oops. So now we're just going to colour in the outline of the ears. So make the paintbrush smaller, so about this size. And this whole ear can be painted in the one colour, but the other ear needs to be done in two, as that'll make it look better. Okay, so first just paint all of the ear, and then you can just rub it out with the rubber. Okay, once you've done that, go into the rubber and just rub out the bit that we need to change the colour of. So once you've done that, you need to double click on the foreground colour 
and choose a darker brown and this is for the inside of the ear and then just paint it in now we're gonna do the lips so go into your image that you got off the internet or off your hard drive but I haven't got one of these as I said earlier so I'm just gonna go into my old drawing and get the colour of the lips from that so go into the um, eye drop tool and select the lips colour and then go into the paint brush again and just paint that in Now we're just going to do the eye colour and add some reflections to the eyes. So to get the eye colour, go into the eye drop tool and go into the other picture that you've been using and just click on the eye colour. Now go back on this picture and go on the paintbrush tool and the size of the paintbrush needs to be at about 19 or 18. Depends on your image. And then just click just click again uh, now what we need to do is just cut the top off this so drag the size down a bit and just do this and the same for this eye okay once you've done that uh, we need to add the reflections now so to do this you just drag the opacity down on this one and as you see now you can see the reflections in the eyes so set your foreground colour to white and then hit OK and then zoom in and make the paintbrush size to 1 and just draw on the reflection and then put the opacity back up to full and the reflections will be on the image so that looks good all we need to do now is colour his neck and do a background and then we're done so I'm just going to do the neck So once you've done that, we're just going to make a background to make it look better. So how you do this is make a new layer first. And then set the foreground colour to red. And set the paint size to about 94. And then we're just going to paint around the edges. Doesn't matter if you go on the uh, cartoon. then go on the rubber and this needs to be quite big to have a cool effect on the picture let's have it big and then just click oh sorry you need to select the uh, soft edge one and then do it and then just click a few times So that's how to make a cartoon 
help you sell for a celebrity on Photoshop CS5. Thanks for watching this video and please subscribe. See ya.